Yeah. You'll never be able to convince me any different. Yeah. Like that was I mean, deliberate. I'm trying to remember at this point, like how many times did I watch the space shuttle launch in school before that happened? I don't, I don't think it was many times once, maybe twice. And then uh, boom, it hits you with the fucking sucker punch. Well, see, that's why it was fucked up. That's the first time they'd ever shown a launch at LaRue County Public Schools. Hmm. Shout out to the Abraham Lincoln Birthplace National Park. Anyway, um, and Joel Ray's Lincoln Jamboree. That's right. Well, again, I grew up, you know, 90 miles from the District of Criminals, so... Obviously, it, it would have gotten to us first. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it, uh, in bumfuck Kentucky, it, you know, we, we, we took a lot of field trips. But it wasn't really, you know, and to be fair, they didn't have the channel. So I was at, when did that happen? Was that 1987? Uh, Challenger was... I think, I think it was 86. I want to say 86. I'll, I'll look here in a second. I'm trying to answer Rob. Rob's like, have you, have you, well, I'll answer Rob right here. Rob says, have you ever seen the list of those astronauts still alive working in the same field they were in when they allegedly blew up on live on national television? And yes, Rob, I have seen that list. I have actually seen uh, those people, a couple of them confronted in public about their true identity, and uh, they were not too happy about it. It's hard for me to imagine people working for NASA using a different identity. <laughs> but some of them are, are still using the same names. That's the yeah, thing. I mean, well, that was they didn't the even cool change thing, their you know? name. 